What up, Mr. Timbers here. Now, here's my review for the uh, Kevin Costner film Am Horizon and America Saga. Now, this is, of course, directed by Kevin Costner, who obviously is directed before, you know, going way back to the Oscar winning film Dance with Wolves, which is something good fellowship won that year, but whatever. Uh, now, this is, of course, a new Western film that uh, is like three hours long, by the way. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Kills the Flower Moon was less longer. This was more longer than Kill the Fire Moon. Like, this really felt more longer. Uh, now, the plot centers around uh, fictional characters and takes place in pre- and post-Civil um, War America and details the exploration of the American West, depicting a 12-year-old spin. The movie features an ensemble cast portraying various characters and their experiences uh, pioneering into a new uh, territory here. Uh, and, of course, there is, like, another, um, part coming out, uh, you know, part two comes out in August, but by the looks of the box office, is there a good chance? I mean, the second's, by the way, already on sale. I kid you not. If you go to, like, August 16th day on, uh, AMC, uh, the AMC app, tickets for this part two is already on sale. So, that, um, uh, that tells you something there. Uh... I mean, I can totally see part two coming out. Like, they're already done with that. I really don't see them really moving forward with part three or part four. Because, I mean, if people who don't go actually go see chapter two, they probably won't have any desire to even see the part one. Or part two, I should say. Uh, I mean, I know people say, uh, aren't the strangers still getting released? There's a little difference between the strangers and Horizon. But once, you know, Strangers cost less than Horizon. Oh, uh, let me see that. Um, yeah, uh, the budget for um, Horizon was 50 to um, 100 million. And the Strangers. Chapter 1. Uh, budget. Oh, uh, that's like 8.5 million. So, very more or less than uh, Horizon. Like, despite the Stranger movies being terrible, they still made a profit because they didn't cost much to make. So, obviously, Chapter 2 and 2 will be coming out. Um, but, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Horizon, it was a snooze fest. This, this is an awful movie. I really want you to like it because I do like Kevin Costner, despite how hard he is and everything. Like, I, I still think Kevin Costner is amazing. You know, but Take, like, his Western stuff aside, you know, the Bodyguard, the un um, the Untouchables, uh, Bull Durham. I'll love to see him come back to the Splash Honor, because he's great when it comes to the Splash Honor. Uh, but, yeah, this is just... It, this is a dumpster fire. It's a shame, too, because I really don't like uh, poo-pooing on someone, um, on a director who's, whose passion project just came out. I really don't like doing that, but if I had to get my um, opinion... I gotta say, it just didn't do anything for me. Now, it did have a killer cast, by the way. You know, maybe the best cast I've ever seen in a Western. Uh, like, we're talking Sienna Miller, Sam Warrington, who, by the way, needs a new agent, because I also saw The Exorcism the same weekend. Ooh. I guess when he's not doing Avatar, he's doing these uh, terrible... I, I guess he needs something to back up until Avatar 3 comes out, but whatever. Um, Michael Rucker, Danny Houston... Uh, Janet Malone, Michael Adorano, who you might know from Sky High, uh, Abby Lee, who was in uh, Mad Max Fury Road, Jamie Campbell Bower from uh, what you call it, Stranger Things, uh, Taiki Tiana Means, Luke Wilson, Ella Hunt, who I loved in Anna and the Apocalypse, Will Patton, Jeff Fahey. I mean, I'm talking about some really high profile actors are in this. Like, they played their parts pretty well. I thought Abby Lee was pretty decent. Giovanni Rubisi was okay. Uh, Jenna Malone's always amazing. Uh, Angus Fagan was also in this. Uh, James Russo. Uh, Dale Dickey's always good. But it just, like, nothing about it really piques my interest. It was completely boring. It was three hours long. It did not need to be three hours. Uh, it, how is this thing expensive? It's beyond me. Maybe because, you know, some of the actors in it may be expensive. That's my assumption. But... It's a shame, because I, I really thought this could have been uh, something good. Like, it could have been maybe, like, Kills of Fire Moon good and all, but it just... Yeah, I think Kills of Fire Moon is a better... It, it, that's actually a better Western movie than this is. So, yeah. I mean, 
I don't know what Kevin Costner is going to direct next. I don't know if like he's still got plans to do Horizon Three and Four. For if I had to guess, I could totally see if he does make more Horizon movies. I could see those mostly being streamings. To be honest, so, like either cut the budget down or just have like or just get make them into like uh, mini series. Maybe to either to Max, Paramount Plus. I don't know, but uh. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what... Because as of right now, the box office isn't looking hot. Uh, let's see. It's making 11... It made 11 million so far. Yeah, that really... is not all that good. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to see here. Uh, but let me let you guys... Uh, you know, did you have a chance to check out Horizon and America Saga? If so, what's up? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Simmons.